Hey guys, Jessica Damu here with another Gundam MSA review, and today we're reviewing my second Battle Scar GM MSA. I had a whole bunch of GM parts left over from six or seven years worth of Gundam's R Us eBay storing, and uh, just things that weren't complete enough to sell. For instance, uh, you probably haven't noticed, but the lower torso is wrong. I made that lower torso out of an RX-78 version 1. This guy had no lower torso. And uh, didn't have a head either. I had some six GMs that had no heads. I, well, you, I mean, you could sell them, but you're not going to make a lot. So, uh, they just stayed in parts so that someday I could battle scar them for use and get them father to peace. And that's exactly what this guy is here for. So there's some six or more of these guys, and I'll be reviewing them each one by one. And they're all compatible with each other. That's the beautiful thing of the MSA. So this is a Battlescarred RX-78 shield. Remodded. Or re, you know, customized. So it's not the same all the time. The GM version 1 arms like to fall off all the time. So, I used something else. I found that the Burning Gundam's arms fit on pretty good. Now, unfortunately, I'm a little short on Burning Gundam open hands. Which... Aren't amazing, but they're okay. I've also modded GM version 1s with Gundam 1.5 arms for animation. But for just being shot or blown up, I figured, you know, poses like these would just work just fine. Ah, you know, <laughs> there's no need for all of them to have guns. And so the gun hands that I have for the other ones can be used here as well. So that gives it a ball-jointed hand a little bit. Elbow joint, the arms can be moved without falling off, like the version 1. Shoulders have been battle scarred. This is a, a custom sculpted head. By the way, all the credit of this custom work goes to Joshua Cerna. Mr. Joshua. And you can see there's just all kinds of damage to this thing. It's probably not moving. The feet are damaged. Shield is bent. I'm not sure what would do that, but it's pretty cool. Let's see, this guy uh, took quite the beating. He's used up his beam saber and lost it since then. Missing a booster. Looks like uh, you know the assault force for a Bawaku. Even the arm has fantastic detail on it. I modded the GM version one legs by cutting out this little bit of plastic here giving them more flexibility. And uh, what's really nice is when you're working with GM scraps and you're battle scarring, you can use RX-78 leftovers. I just cut up down the uh, RX-78 lower torso, and it looks just right on this guy. Now, just for a comparison with my first one, a Joshua Cerna that has the right torso, you can see there is a difference, you know, to the trained eye, but at first glance, you're like, whoa, GM. And he did a good job painting these guys and just messing them up. Just really, really good. And so my hope is to use these guys and gun them father a piece and stop motion animation. And, you know, just say uh, a normal GM is firing and then I swap out its arm for a battle scarred arm after some bullets hit it or something like that. Should be pretty neat. Well, make sure to like, favor, and subscribe as I post a new video nearly every other day. And, uh... Make sure to check out my other Battle Scar GMs. Like I said, there's going to be at least six of them. I've now reviewed two, and I have my friend Dark Vortex working on three for me right now as I'm filming this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later.